In 1 John chapter 2 and verse 27, the scripture says, The anointing which you have received from him abides in you. The word anoint means to pour on and to rub in. In fact, in the Old Testament, a priest uh, had oil poured over his head, symbolizing the Spirit of God resting on him as he carried out his duties each day. Now, fast forward to the age that we're now living in and read that verse again. It says, The anointing which you have received from him, that is God, in you. The word abide simply means to take up residence and, and to live in. in. In other words, you're a container for God's Spirit. And when His Spirit lives within you, it affects every area of your life. So try to imagine the advantage that this gives you when it comes to your relationships, your career, your health, your decisions, your struggles, your marriage, and your ministry. Imagine what it does when you're under stress and you're handling overwhelming problems. And furthermore, the anointing of God's Spirit that, as the Scripture says, abides in you is transferable to others. You see, when you speak scriptural words of kindness and encouragement to uh, someone, well, those words are still at work long after you're gone because they're infused with the, the presence of God. In the Old Testament, God told Moses, You shall speak to the children of Israel, and you shall say this to them, This shall be a holy anointing oil to me throughout your generation. Generations. Well, that means your children and grandchildren can experience that kind of anointing with God's Spirit as well. The psalmist said this, I shall be anointed with fresh oil every morning when you wake up. Pray, Lord, anoint me afresh today, and then go out and touch others with that anointing. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another heart truth for your day.